Today I'm going to show you how to work with tribolium beetles. One of the first things that you need to pay attention to is that there are actually two different kinds of beetles. The red beetles are tribolium confusum, abbreviated CF. The black beetles are tribolium castanium black body. Those are abbreviated CSBB. So these are black and these are sort of reddish brown. So the challenge that you have after you put the food into the little vials is to get the beetles from the jar into the vials and to only get the right number in there. It's a little bit challenging because as you can see these beetles are pretty enthusiastic about life. So how do you get a particular number of beetles out of this seething mass into the bottle without getting them all over the place? And the answer to that is by taking advantage of a natural behavior that the beetle has. They, they love to crawl up things. So if I put this piece of index card and leave it in here for a minute, you can see that the beetles are starting to crawl up the index card. And so once I have however many I need on the index card, I can just knock them off into the bowl. If necessary, I can use the paintbrush to knock them in. Obviously, it doesn't take very long to get plenty of beetles in here, so you don't need to leave the card in for very long. One of the great things about these bowls is there is no way that the beetles can get out. They simply cannot climb up the side of the bowl. So once you get the beetles in the bowl, you can just relax and take your time. So assume that I have food in this bottle here, you, in this vial, you can just carefully count out the number of beetles that you want into the vial until you have the correct amount for the exercise that you're filling the bottle for. When you're finished, then you simply brush the beetles back into the bottle again using the paintbrush. One of the very critical things is that you need to make sure that you double check that you're putting the beetles back in the correct bottle. Don't ever put the black beetles in the red beetle bottle and vice versa. Um, the best thing to do is to only work with one kind of beetle at a time and then you will never have to worry about being confused about which kind you're putting into the bottle. The things that I forgot to say at the end of this video was do not leave the piece of paper in the jar. And here we see the actual reason why. How are we going to get this paper out? If I reach in here to get them, oh man, now they're all over my hands. So don't do that. Leave the paper out and put the lid back on when you're done. 